Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Real quick, when I say live, what I mean is that this is a situation where I'm recording myself, seeing the formation, seeing the data for the very first time compared to, you know, doing some sort of trade recap. So if you are looking for a video where the person's recapping their trades and, you know, talking to you with hindsight in their favor, this will not be a video for you. But if you are open to the idea of an unscripted, nitty gritty raw look into what it's like to be a day trader, how day trading can play out, then this will be a video for you. So a couple bits of context here, market opens up in a couple minutes. And I did a quick pre-market trade here on Tesla down there. So I'm actually starting off the, the day as far as the video you're concerned with, uh, up $58. So why is that so skinny? There we go. So $58 there um, on the day. So it was just a very quick trade. Um, took, uh, you know, like I said, just a few seconds. I was in and out of it, uh, 15 seconds to be exact. If you look at the timestamps right there. Uh, so just a little bit of context in that regard. But yeah, I'll go ahead and pause for now and I'll be back at the open. You're watching Tesla here and oh, try to get short at 678, but I missed it. Ah, too slow on that one. So tried to get short, but I was just too slow on the trigger for that one. So I did not get filled. So let's go back. And the reason my cha uh, screen is changing around is because that was my stock trading layout. Now we're back on my options trading layout. Let's see if this wants to come up first. Give me some sort of back test here. So I'm watching Tesla options now. Try for some at 1050. So it needs to come up a bit more. There we go, nice, filled. See it come down a bit more. All right. Uh, I was on I was on best offer, but I did not get filled. Let's see if it wants to come back down. I may look to add. This would be a pretty impressive move in my favor if this thing does actually come back down here. Six seventy nine is definitely going to be that key breakdown point. So took took three off at eleven. So let's see if we can get some more follow through now. Have one left. All right, so 215 on that trade. Got the move down, I don't like that at all. At all, so I had to hop out there. If it wants to come back down, I may still be interested, but what a ridiculous move, look at that. Broke down, started to come down. And then just like that, shot up. So, okay, well, it is what it is. That's the crazy thing, NVIDIA, which trades, you know, obviously they're not a, the same exact mirror image, but usually they trade somewhat similar. NVIDIA is breaking down beautifully, and then Tesla is just, eh. So yeah, no, I'm not gonna try to hide it. Disappointed on that one, but uh, you know, if there's any sort of, uh, comfort or motivation, I should say, hopefully, you know, just seeing the fact that it's not like you have to be perfect because I was not perfect on that trade. I was right, kind of, but not really because look at that thing. <laughs> Unbelievable.
All right, well. Well, if this thing wants to keep coming up, try for some puts at the $13 mark, but this thing will need to come up some more. So, okay. Well, not the not the ideal start. I mean, I'm still up 273, so it's not like it's terrible or anything like that. But yeah, certainly not what I was thinking or or wanting on that one. And again, the crazy part is I got it, started to break down, but then just completely snapped back on me. So I'm glad I salvaged what I could from that one. But okay, I'll go ahead and pause. All right, have an order at 12:25 here. So Tesla needs to come up a bit more, but. That's always the tricky part with with options. As you longtime viewers hear me say time and time again, there is that guessing game element that's associated with it. Coin. Quite the move here. Some tricky movement. I mean, think about it. You know, some people are probably thinking, okay, breaking down that bear pennant and then nope, just kidding, snap back upwards. So that's a pretty brutal move too. Okay, I'll go ahead and pause. All right, thinking about a short here on 52 for coin. In there at 52.05. And I gotta get, uh, let's see if it wants to, trying to give it a little bit of wiggle room as the volatility really spiking all over the place here. But the market just spiked on me too, so that's not helping. Dropping down here to 52, maybe. Well, yeah, this thing is really all over the place here. Markets are coming back down. So we'll see if I can get, drag this back down with it. And 52 is step one. Well, I guess step one is even getting down to 52. Step two would be, can it break 52? There's the break. Step three, can we get some follow through now? And I'm hopping out there for basically break even. I don't like how it's putzing around at all. Yeah, even now, look at that. Just maybe my fault for getting in because it wasn't, I mean, there's volume, but there's not a whole lot of volume. Um, so I'm not gonna blame the stock. That one's definitely, probably should have considered volume a bit more before hopping in there. And just like that, you can see just no follow through. Now it, very, it, it could easily come back down, but I feel this is a very 50-50 situation and I don't like 50-50 situations. So, I mean, I got the break, which was good, but then when I saw the break and how it behaved when it did break, and you, I mean, you can scroll back and see, it, it just, there, there was no follow through. I think it dropped all of like nine cents. And now, of course, I mean, it's, it's coming back up. So, um, yeah. I played that one right in the sense of getting out. I played it wrong in the sense of I should have never been in it in the first place because of the whole volume and very choppiness nature of it. So, um, yeah, did some things right on that one, did some things wrong. But you know, if you do something wrong, 
just admit to yourself as, as quickly as possible. And to be, again, to be fair, this one could, I, I could still see it coming down, but it just feels too much, sorry. feels too much 50-50. Tesla all of a sudden, nice. Uh, I don't know if you're a beginner or not a beginner, but if you're new to my videos, I, I do have other monitors that I'm watching. You're only seeing a smallest portion. So if I just all of a sudden lose my train of thought, it's because probably something on another monitor is flashing. Yeah, coin doing nothing. Uh, Facebook 160.35, that's it. But 160 is more so. Yeah, market's completely rolled back over here. But a lot of these, at least tech stocks, are, are acting pretty strong relative to what the markets are doing. You can see market here basically coming back down. And I mean, Tesla, it's coming a little bit back down, but it's still actually got a bit of an uptrend here, which is why, now I'm not sure I believe the uptrend, which is why I'm, I'm more bearish right now, but Yeah, and there goes NVIDIA to highs. Yeah, a tricky market right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Okay, I have an order at 12.75 here. Need Tesla to come up a bit more. Oh, come on. I was best on the offer, but then, no, nope, gotta go to 11.50 now. So the guessing game continues. Oh yeah, it's still low as it went. It was 1277 right there, you can see the low. So even at 1275, it would not have been okay. Even if I'd left it there and not canceled, I still would have never been filled. That's what I mean. I was so close, yet close is not good enough in trading. There are no participation trophies in, in, in trading. Okay, I'll pause. Okay, I'm gonna try to pick up Nope, let's go to 1550 now. Just trying to play this pullback now. Nope. Clay, why do you keep canceling? Because that's how the strategy works. You gotta just be extra, extra stingy and greedy with your entry points. For this strategy, that is not. I'm not making a broad comment. And this way, you know, trading is very dependent on well, what, what's the particular strategy? And that strategy, yeah, you got to be very high maintenance. You got to be very picky about it. And I understand it looks kind of odd. Like, wait, why? Why are you keep canceling? Okay, new order canceling it because that's just the way that strategy. That's a requirement of it. Known as a sniper shot, and I, I, there's been past with YouTube videos that I had that I've you know called the sniper shot. Okay, I'll go ahead and pause. Watching 148 here on NVIDIA. Filled. So let's see some more pressure here to the downside. Well, that's not the most encouraging candle, but let's Give it a little bit of a chance here. Markets are trying to break down through a key level and if that happens, should ideally help NVIDIA. Not a good candle there at all for me, given I want the price to go down. How am I not out? What kind of garbage is this? There we, goodness. That should not have been that difficult to get out. It's not like I had 50,000 shares or 5,000 shares, I had 500. 
So this is just, I don't know, this is just not a, a smooth morning at all. I mean, if anything, hopefully I can offer up some encouragement that it, you don't have to be smooth. I mean, I'm still up 300 some dollars. It doesn't feel like it, but. Yeah, and I'm watching, still watching the video off screen. It's not doing anything, just sitting there, putzing around. In fact, now bouncing up a bit. All right, well, I'll go ahead and pause. So I, I guess slow and steady wins the race. I don't know what quite to say, but just can't quite get anything right. And quick update on NVIDIA. It would officially be a losing trade now. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm, I'm getting to the point of maybe just waving the white flag and saying, I'm done. Unbelievable. So that would have gone from a... Uh, and even when I was trying to get out of that thing, that was ridiculous too to try to get out. Okay, well, want to give an update on the rest of that one. So I think, yeah, every... Just zero follow-through right now. Uh, you're, I'm getting breaks, but the breaks don't produce any sort of continuation. Just no follow-through. I'm trying. I'm looking back at my trades. Yeah, not a single one. Even... Well, the, the first Tesla pre-market, that was a bit of a different one because that was just a quick mom momentum scalp. But yeah, you, everybody saw, yeah, I, we saw the rest of them. That got a break on those Tesla contracts, no follow through. In fact, snap back. Coin got the break and then nothing really happened at all. And yeah, Nvidia got the break, nothing really happened at all. So that seems to be the theme here. Although, so really it's just a question of now looking at the, the does 376 want to fail? That, that's the key dynamic here that I'm wondering. Is, is this a pattern where this right now just kind of taking a breath before some sort of failure to the downside? So a lot of these stocks could get a nice little boost here. But we'll have to see. I'll go ahead and pause. All right, gonna go to try, go ahead and try, good, nice. Short at 161, looking for this to get rejected back downwards. So let's see what it wants to do. So again, short 161. I just wanna see if this thing ultimately does get rejected. Don't need it to even break down through lows for this all to make sense, but it does need to come down a bit more compared to where it is right now. But I'm definitely starting to lose trust in the things here once again. Just get some follow through, my friend. All right. I think I might be done. I keep getting the breaks that I want to see. And then, as you see right here, look, back up green it goes. Whoops. Wow. This is just craziness right now. All right, I'll go ahead and pause. I mean, you just can't make this stuff up. Quick little update on META. Look at this. Is I think that's the fourth one now. I cannot remember a, a day where literally every trade has done the same thing. And I, I guess you're right in thinking so. Well, Lynn Clay, why don't you just do the opposite of what you think you should do? And and maybe today is an opposite day. Maybe if I'm thinking, of, you know, like I said, getting short, maybe I should have went long there. I'd have had to sit through a little bit of a pullback and then boom, I would have been just fine. <laughs> oh, opposite day. Unbelievable. Literally everything, every trade has done the same exact thing. And I know my slogan at the site is trade without emotion. Clearly you can hear emotion in my voice, but I, you know, it's not, that's, it's, 
be aware of your emotion. That, that's what the that's what the slogan should be. But that's not as catchy as trade without emotion. Uh, but you want to be aware of emotion so that then you can ultimately trade without it. But emotion's always going to show up. And yeah, right now I don't even know what this emotion is. Almost kind of disbelief, comedy, humor. Like I, I'm not quite sure because I'm not angry per se because I'm I mean, I'm still up three hundred seventy five dollars. But I I think I'm just kind of like what is going on. I mean, sometimes all you can do is laugh at yourself. And I mean, quite literally today, apparently was a day where if I had just done the exact opposite of what I thought the market was gonna do, I would've been fine. And the funny thing is, is I was right in the sense of, okay, I think this level is gonna break, great. Got the break, let's see some movement. Nope, no movement, all right. And then eventually just snaps right back in the opposite direction. So again, if you've heard the terms, you know, continuation, follow through, there has been zero follow through. There has been zero continuation. So if you ever hear somebody saying that, uh, you now know exactly what it you know looks like via this video. An absolute lack of follow through, zero continuation. But there are still some nice setups out there, which is what's keeping me here. Is there some setups here where, you know, because surely one of these has got to actually go, right? One of these has got to make the move. And all it takes is one. So I'll go ahead and take a look around and, uh, I'm getting close to probably just calling it a day, but like I said, I'm not quite willing to wave that white flag yet. Okay, I have an order at 12.50. Needs to come up a bit more. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Good thing I noticed that on the five minute. I now need more so about 7.12 area. Because that is a, I'll show you on the five minute pink line up there, or excuse me, 200 period moving average. So I'd like to try to get short up around that area. So it needs to come up a bit more. Now the idea here is simple, it's breaking out. So you know what, is it just gonna break out for a little bit and then just do the exact opposite like it's been doing? Let's see. Okay, going to 11, 25 here. Okay, let's actually do 1075. Come on, a bit more. All right, I'll go ahead and pause. Okay, I have an order at 9.50. So I'm getting close. At 9.15 now. Tesla price needs to come up just a bit more. Oh, there's a little pullback right there. All right. I apologize, but I don't apologize. I realize, well, geez, Clay, you keep filming yourself not getting filled. And I know, but at the same time, this is live trading. This is what trading can look like at times. You try, try, and you don't quite get in. You try again, don't quite get in. But I will pause for now. Okay, I'm gonna try at 885. You know, maybe I'll just wait until I get filled. I don't know at this point. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, in at 
as of now, not looking like the best entry point. Let's see if it wants to come back down. Step one, get below 720. There we go. Seven nineteen is going to be, I think, the key break. So, oh yeah, you guess it for another fifty dollar move. I got the break, what I said, and then what did it do? It's doing the exact, <laughs> the exact opposite. Uh, unbelievable. I can't, this is, look at this, green. Complete, absolute opposite day. All right, well this move has gotta be running out of steam, right? I'm gonna try 10.50 here. See if it wants to come up a bit. But yeah, I mean, as you saw there, I got, it came back down, it broke. Yep, definitely low right there of 718.75. So broke that low of 719, which I said, okay, that'll be the key. I got the break and then no follow through. Okay, I'm gonna to go to 975 here. At this point, I'm just gonna be extra greedy. 950. All right, I'll pause and uh, wait, am I still recording? I'm still recording. I'll go ahead and pause. All right, I gotta wrap things up because right now what's going on is I want I want to say on the video, which is this is gonna be when I say it out loud, it's really it's gonna sound stupid because it sounds stupid in my head. But um, you know, I, I want to say for the video sake because I know a lot of you like the slogan, "Hey, five hundred dollars a day keeps a day job away." So I want to be able to say that to you. But I'm only at four twenty eight. So in my mind, Clay, go make another seventy five dollars so that you can say that slogan. And now all of them doing is trying to visualize setups that don't exist. And um, you know that that's kind of the downside to, to making YouTube videos is I have no problem admitting, I, I wanna make cool YouTube videos. Um, now, with that being said, you've seen a lot of videos where I'm losing money, so it's not like I'm, I'm only gonna post the cool ones. I post them all, but um, there is that temptation where I do wanna post cool ones. I, I want you to hit that subscribe button. I, I, I want you to do all that sort of stuff, hit that like button. Um, so yeah, I, I wanna make a cool one. I wanna be able to say $500 a day keeps a day job away. So I wanna make that $75 more, but that is just so, so absolutely silly. I've sat here long enough. I've had plenty of warning signs. Clay, you just, you're not jiving with the market today, clearly. Just be grateful that you had such really, I'm quite frankly, a terrible day where nothing went right. I got no follow through, nothing. Yet I'm, 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 I'm still at 428. So I'm only $75 away from being able to say it on such a bizarre and weird day. So, so I gotta just be able to take that. And the human mind is a crazy place. And like I said, um, I, it's, it's so silly to think that way. It's, uh, but you, you just got to get in, you, you got to understand your mind. And that's the key to trading is understanding your mind. And I do realize that right now, the YouTube voice is trying to influence things. And that can be a very dangerous situation because I can see myself going for 75 and then I end up losing, let's say a hundred, 150. Okay. Well, geez, I was, I was just at 428. And then you go back and try again. And then it can turn into a vicious cycle where before I know it, I'm sitting there zero on the day or up 50 bucks on the day, down 50 on the day. And it's just, um, you know, not a good situation. So yeah, this market, like I said, we're just not jiving. Now I have the YouTube voice. So it's caused me to want to do bad things and doing bad things in a market where you're not jiving. That is a recipe for six, uh, for not success, but for not a good situation. But if anything, like I said, this is hopefully you're motivated to know like, wow, yeah, you can have a relatively bad day, be wrong, 
essentially about everything and still come out ahead. Um, so if you did enjoy the video, if you enjoy the transparency, because I, I really don't want to post this because I get it. I look like a, a, a clown. I mean, hey, I think it's going to do that. Oh, it did. Oh, no, it didn't. Got to get out. Hey, I think it's going to do that. Oh, no, didn't do that. Got to get out. And that happened, what, six times, five times today? I don't even know how many trades I took now. Looking there, it looks like about six trades. <laughs> and uh, so I'm, Sometimes all you can do is laugh. But if you do enjoy the transparency, if you enjoy me just showing, the, the like I said at the beginning of the video, the raw, nitty-gritty look into what it's like to be a day trader and how this can all play out, now please hit that like button and leave a simple comment below, or better yet, even hit that subscribe button. Uh, but uh, if you want to first check out the channel first, I totally understand that too. Uh, but like I said, this is how trading goes sometimes. So again, if you enjoy, if you appreciate the transparency, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Everybody take care. Have a good one. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.